I am John Harris studying in Kendriya Vidyalaya HUF School Avadi 7th standard. Today I am going to show you a Python application called Space Calculator. And also the Space Calculator helps in the architectural industry. In the architectural industry, it is very crucial in any project to determine the amount of material required for the specific area. Estimating the number of square tiles needed for the specific area is a tedious and time consuming task. Often it requires complex calculations. To streamline this process, a Python application called Space Calculator has been designed. Space Calculator calculates the number of square tiles needed for the specific area accurately. Calculations. Now, I will tell you the formula used to design the application. Length in squares is equal to the length of the area divided by the size of the given square. Width in squares is equal to the width of the area divided by the size of the given square. The total number of square tiles needed for the specific area is equal to length in squares multiplied by width in squares. So this is the formula which I used to design this application. In this formula, I got three inputs from the user as when you enter into this application, first it will ask you the length of the squares. You have to enter it in feet. After you enter that, next it will ask the width. That also you have to enter in feet. Next, the size of the square. After you enter that, it will display the outputs within seconds. Now, the benefits of my project. Accuracy, time saving and cost efficient. Now, I will show you a demo of my project. Before that, I will explain my program. First, I have defined a function named calculate. In that function, I passed three parameters, length, width, and size of the square. Using these three parameters, I did my calculations as per the formula. This function returns the value, that is, the total number of square tiles needed for the area. Then I got three inputs from the user, first the length, next the width, and then the size of the square. And I passed those values into the function, and I got output, and then I displayed the output to the user. And also, I have handled some except exceptions, that is, uh, the length or width of the area cannot be zero. Logically, it is incorrect. So, if the user gives a zero mistakenly, I will just display an error. And also, the size of the square cannot be more than the area. If the user gives that mistakenly, there also I will display an error. And also the size of the square cannot be zero. For that also I will display an error message. So if every conditions are true, that that is the areas and the size of the square, everything is correct. I will just, as I said, uh, pass the values in the function and get the output and then display it to the user. So now I will show you a demo of my application. 
and also this is a online compiler which I am using. This requires internet. Now it is asking the length in feet. Uh, I will give it as 20. Now it is asking the width in feet. I am giving it as 15. It is asking the size of the square that I will give as 5. So, this area requires 12 tiles. So, this is all my program. Now, this uh, space calculator is a very vari valuable tool for the professionals in the architectural industry. This enables them to simplify the calculation of square tiles for the area. Thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity.